welcome to Snapshot. I'm your host, Alan Wolf, and on this edition, we have a very special treat for you. We're going to take you behind the scenes here at the Sun Inn 2 restaurant in Coral Gables and show you some real Cantonese cooking. Let me tell you, this is a lot different than the traditional American-style Chinese food. In fact, we don't even call it Chinese food around the people that work in this restaurant. Cantonese food is a gourmet-style food in the style of Chinese cooking, but not Chinese food. First order of business, we're going to take you behind the scenes and into the kitchen with the chef. We're going to prepare some meals that you won't believe. So come on with us. Let's go in. Well, as promised, we are in the kitchen here at Sun In 2 with the owner and master chef, Bob Thank Tang. Thank you. And uh, not only are you going to see just how Cantonese food is prepared, but I am going to be a guest, Tao Choi. Did I say it right? Yeah, the head chef. Yeah. And, and head chef. That's me, the head <laughs> chef. Okay, I see in your hand you have a cleaver. Is this yeah. a very important part of what we're about yes. to do? Yes. I mean, if it's better, of course, than biting it all with your teeth to get it uh, <laughs> shredded. If so you know how to shop, that's very fast, though, you know. Very like fast. A kung fu light, you know? Where do we start? Okay, that's a sweet potato. Okay, Chinese. this is sweet potato? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Now, is this edible before it's cooked or does it have to be cooked first? Uh, no, after we chop, then we go to cook it. Okay, so we have to chop them. Okay, I show you how to chop Chinese food. Okay, I better back away here. Fast that machine though, you know. Okay, let me just That's check fun. to make sure you have no fingers in here. No. Okay, no fingers. <laughs> <laughs> So and this that goes right back with the rest of the sweet potato. That's a uh, Chinese cabbage that usually we cut, you know. We go to chop, 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 chop. Okay, like Chinese kung fu, you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll do the jokes here if you don't <laughs> mind. Seriously. That's done, though, you know. Like for every dish, you know, we uh, mostly we use the Chinese. Choy, yeah. and, and the food has to look good to the customer. Yes. Not only tastes good, but it yes. has to visually be yes. pleasing yeah. as well. Well, here I see you have some uh, gigantic shrimp. Uh, okay, with the jumbo palm made from Villa Shoyla. That's the best shrimp in the whole United States. And, and you can get it here locally with no problem? Yes, no problem. Okay, big shrimp. Is there an advantage to using big shrimp instead of tiny shrimp? Uh, big shrimp mostly is good, you know. You, you know. Tastes crispy though. Well, I'm sure we'll find that out here <laughs> later on in the show. <laughs> and what, what do we have over here? A uh, slow pea. That's slow pea. Okay. Look at that. Uh, okay. Look how fresh those look. You know, I guess since you and I are both head chefs today, Tao Choice, yeah, I maybe guess we're like two <laughs> peas in a pod, huh? <laughs> no, we'll get, we'll get rid of that. Uh, go right ahead. That's bad mushroom, okay? okay I show you how to how, how to cut the mushroom though. You know, we go Cut in this way, though. Slice up. That's the way, though. Do you do you suppose I could do that? You could sure. you teach me? Yeah, you okay, make I'm sure. gonna take the mushroom here first. I you make sure it. your finger after you cut your finger still on, you know. Then we have to make sure that it doesn't turn red. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now yes. okay, we hold a knife, we just go like that. Okay, well I'm gonna do that. Watch this folks. Watch it, watch it. Okay, done. <laughs> Not bad though, huh? <laughs> and if it was alive, I would have killed it by now too. Did I do good? Yeah, you did good. Do I qualify as an honorary Chinese chef at this point? I, at least. I think so. Okay, you know? all right. You think about Co -helper. it. Co-helper, co-helper. I'm okay. a helper. Oh, a helper, huh? <laughs> okay. I'll defer to you. How about this uh, ginger? The ginger usually we peel the skin. Yes, that is ginger. It looks just like her. I went to high school with ginger. Kind of the same profile. And we'll put we, that right we down. The same here. thing, we cut the ginger like that. You know, slice up first, you know. You do this very smoothly. Yeah. Is this healthy food? Is yeah, very you? healthy. You know, our, in Chinese food, we had like 4,000 different food, though. You know. The other day, we were talking about healthy food and about age. And then you told me that you're really 60 years old, right? 
I look like it. <laughs> and you look about 25. But seriously, we were talking about age the other day, uh -huh. and you are... 37. You're 37, yeah. and, and you look like you're in your 20s. Because I eat because Chinese food every day, though, you know? And Cantonese style, Cantonese of course, style which is, is the gourmet style yeah, of Chinese food. Yeah. The Chinese food that Americans are used to eating, uh, the chop suey or the yeah, chow mein, the what about that? chicken, chop suey, that's uh, in China, they, we don't find nothing on it. People don't know about no. it. No. No, nothing on it. Well, we have a lot more interesting that's, uh, ingredients. That's crab meat. Crab meat here. Yeah. That's a uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. That's uh, bamboo soup, carrot. Lobster tail. Ooh, let's take a look at this. May I? Yeah, sure. Look at that lobster tail. Hey, here's looking at you, huh? Look at that. So fresh. Okay, that's slow pea leaf. You never see it, this, you know, from the slow pea. I see. And yeah. you, you, you have to cook that. You yeah, don't we, that we need to stir fry on it. Huh? And over here? That's uh, for the pineapple fire while we cook later. Okay. That's egg low, uh, spring roll skin. That's a vegetable make the spring roll though. Oh, you mean this is what egg roll is wrapped spring roll. in? Not egg roll. Egg roll is American Chinese food. We well, make of course, I have to keep in mind, we're yeah. dealing with Cantonese yeah, this, gourmet here. Yeah, this spring roll skin. Yeah, and I, then we make I, it. I, I knew I'll show you later. Just was checking him out to make sure he had his facts straight. <laughs> OK. What's okay. our next stop on this grand tour? OK, I just show you how to use Chinese. The life first, we okay. cut the sky in right now. Cut the okay. roots off. We don't use the roots. Yeah, no. Just like that, easy. You It'll know. be the root of all evil. Yeah, that's the way, you know. That's we, it. We put some pot on the dish we, for cook the chicken. Okay, this, uh, I'll throw it away later, okay? <laughs> this, uh, what, what to say this? This is, and I'm going to say it in, in Chinese, celery. Celery. <laughs> How do you say that in Chinese? Uh, kan choy, you know? Yes, he's right again. Yeah. This man is a master chef. He knows all the words. Just checking you out there to make sure that you had yeah. studied on this. Is it? That's what we You make it do. look so easy. You're yeah, the professional, yeah. that's why. I work in the restaurant since I'm 13. Now I'm 37, you know. Is it a job that you enjoy coming to every yeah. day? Yeah, I really enjoy my job, you know. Every day I try to improve. That's an interesting that's that's for cook the chicken, though, yeah. You mean once you get a, a particular menu, you're not satisfied with just those foods. You're always looking for something to make it better. Yeah, yeah. Always you mm. improve it, you know. That's, that's the mark of a true professional. Okay, okay. now I, I show you how to make the spring roll, though. Okay. Okay, we call spring roll. Okay, now we have, uh, what do we have the here? The vegetable. The vegetable? The vegetables. Okay, yes, that's the vegetables. spring roll skin. We order from the factory, the spindle skin, okay? Because uh, a lot of work on it. Do you know what it's made of? Uh, flour. Flour? Yes, flour, okay. This, very easy for me. Maybe for you it's easy too, you know? And then again, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> After you saw you me see? chop before, no telling whether it'd be easy. We just, well, I will try the other one now, as soon, now that you've, you you've see, done that's it. That's a spring roll. Oh. After we pack it and then... Uh, no problem. Can I uh, try the other one? Maybe sure, I can sure, do that. Sure. The first thing we do is we, we <laughs> take the skin. Yeah. And, and I think we have get a... Get some vegetable food. on it. And get some vegetables on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and we, roll it. This, this looks very yeah, easy. Roll it. And then go this side. And go this side. And then we're going to go this side. side. And put some flour on it. And... <laughs> this, uh, it's not good though. <laughs> I, listen, you made it look, look at the difference. Wait a minute. Maybe I am not the uh, Tao Choi, huh? But, but uh, could we cook mine too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll cook Taste mine same, too. Taste same, you know. Okay, tastes the same. Just doesn't look, look good. Look different though, you know. I better stick to this job and I'm uh, okay. not going to work at your restaurant, obviously. Tonight we, we cooked the uh, XO lobster. Okay. XO lobster. We just chopped the lobster with the uh, knife. <laughs> just mm -hmm. like that. 
so fresh too. That's important, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, freshness. Yeah, it's most seafood. You need to keep it very fresh. That's more important. We call food quality. We chop it, okay? Okay, and now and what happens? We now go to cook. We're yeah. gonna cook. We're gonna cook. <laughs> You're gonna see it when it's finished. This is okay. gonna be great. All right. Stick around. Well, this is probably one of the most important areas of all. This is the kitchen area, and we have uh, virtually taken a walk over to the walk. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Bob told me that, that we can actually eat these snow peas raw, and they won't hurt you. Yeah, correct? that's a nice salad. And we'll see if they're going to hurt me or not. It usually would take, like... You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> and that was delicious. First ingredient. Eggs. This egg. Yeah, we cook uh, pineapple fried rice. Of course, these are Chinese eggs. I sent it from China. I think, okay, so. I just wanted to make but sure. But still fresh, though, you know. Oh, still, still fresh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a real comedian here, don't we, folks? We put some oil on it. What kind of oil is that? Vegetable oil. No Ve lard. No, no peanut oil. Mm -hmm. That's vegetable oil, very healthy. So peanut oil is bad, you would explain to me before. Yeah, because peanut oil is no good for your health though, you know? Uh-huh. We stuff by the egg, we put the pineapple stuff by. Then also we put the meat on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I have an apron on here too. Yeah. I'm a Tao Choi too. Yeah. So I could uh, I could probably help you out. Yeah, later when we getting busy, then you help me out. Though. I guess that's right to the, the point. Steam my wife, folks. Already steam it. Okay. And then put together. We just go ahead to stir fry them. How far back does Chinese cooking date? How fast? What do you mean? How, how far back in history? Oh, oh, almost a couple thousand years, you know, three or four thousand years. That's amazing. You know, considering yeah. the history of this country is 300 plus years. Yeah. It's amazing. amazing. Now I put some uh, salt on it and a little bit sugar and soy sauce. How about MSG? No, we don't use MSG. Okay. You know, recently we saw some information in the press about Chinese food, but obviously it's it's not accurate because this is very healthy. Yeah, healthy food. Some is uh, American Chinese food. Today we cook real, real Chinese food. So American Chinese food like, like what, for example? No, well, you cannot find it in China, like honey chicken. That's an American invention. Yeah, uh, mogu gai pan shim with lobster sauce. That's not. It's a Chinese food. It's a how fast I cook now. Finish that is I amazing. Have fine rice. But you know, I noticed something here, right, right down here on what you just cooked. Yeah. I think there's something alive. There it is, right there. That's live stream, though. You, you think know? I better eat that? Yeah. It's so yeah. fresh and it's live. Let's check this out. Tastes good. Mm, that is excellent. You know. I think I'm going to offer a piece to my cameraman, or our Rich Umanski's right behind the camera. No, I think I don't think there are any more left. I'm sorry, Rich. You try that pineapple pan fight. Is pineapple. it polite to eat it with my fingers? Is that all right? It's all right, you know. Well, then I'll do some more. For you, it's special, though. <laughs> oh, for me, it's special? Mmm. <laughs> Very good, delicious. You know, I do feel a bit guilty uh, not offering any to my cameraman, but not that guilty. Here, how would you like a piece? There you go. Mm -hmm. Tastes all right. What do you think of that, huh? <laughs> That's a that is a beautiful dish, and this is how it's served. Yes. Uh, you mentioned earlier. It's very important how things look. Yeah, how things look and taste good, though. You know. It tastes and, delicious. And uh, and the next healthy. dish we're going to prepare is called what? Uh, exo palm, my uh, exo lobster. Okay, I can't exo wait. Exo lobster. Okay. Ready for the lobster dish, yeah. and as I can see by this this lobster Lob here, uh, you really move your tail for them, yeah, yes. so to speak. Yeah. That was uh, just an American joke. Sorry about that. <laughs> this lobster tail does look beautiful, yeah. though. But I'm doing pretty good with my Chinese tao choy. Tao choy, yeah. And that's what I am today. You, you will be tao choy tomorrow, though. Oh, you get you have to wait a day. <laughs> it yeah. takes a day for you to be initiated. Yeah. One day I'll be the chef. Easy to cook, though. Okay. Very easy. I saw. In other you words, right I now. shouldn't apply they for a job it. yet. Yeah. 
No job yet. You sure? 25 cents an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what I'm worth. Okay, today I show you how to cook XO lobster. All okay. right. First, we steam the bucket, boil the bucket first. And it's in water. Minutes. It's in water. Yeah, in water, chicken bowl, in chicken bowl. Again, very then healthy. Then we put some oil on it. Put some cornstarch to marinate the lobster tail, okay? Until the oil is hot, then we, we put the lobster on it. How do you know when it's the right temperature? Oh, by your experience. In other words, I wouldn't know because I don't have that experience. <laughs> and that might be why when we try to cook very uh, gourmet kinds of foods at home, we're not able to do it well because uh, we lack that experience. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Now it's done in the oil. I think you're it's right. It's just deep fry. Mm. Now Before again, you deep fry, you need to put the cornstarch to make it. Now experience tells you how long to cook this. Yes, I can see, you know. Mm, that looks delicious. Big and again, you use vegetable oil here. Vegetable no oil. No peanut oil because no, it's highly oh saturated. Is it fat. how nice this? Oh wait gold a minute. Fish. What do we have here? A fish. Look at this. Gold fish. A gold fish made of carrot. Yep. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, you know, in, in the uh, old days, back in college, they used to make us eat goldfish before we could get in a club. Do you suppose I could eat this goldfish? That's handmade, you know. Is this no, handmade? Yeah, handmade from Canada. So I shouldn't eat this. You try. You know, I could like eat a salad. this. Yeah, like a salad, you know. But okay. don't pull up. But look at this. Before the fish. How could I eat something that's looking at me? Okay. Well, okay. We're gonna do it anyway. The lobster is done though. Mmm. Oh. Very good. Mmm. -hmm. They grow new tails. They really do. Okay. Of course, you drain it. Very yeah, strain it so uh, no more oil. Drain it a couple minutes. Put some scallion on it. Yes, indeed. The exo sauce. The exo sauce made from the scallop shrimp. We clone it and put some oyster sauce on it. And now over it. here we saw some other ingredients also. We saw chicken. Yeah. And what else did you have over here? Scallop, shrimp, this oyster sauce. Soy sauce, oyster sauce. Then we egg soy sauce, stir fry in a couple of minutes. Then we be done the dish. Okay. You think the fish can still swim after I ate the back end of it? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> it's look well though. I noticed that you you don't measure anything. You just know from experience. Yes. Uh -huh. And again, the name of this dish. Oh, X O that. Some whole X O lobster. our Chinese sweet potato again, and we're about ready to make chicken burnet. Yes. And this is really an interesting process. We'll watch Chef Al do this. First, the uh, sweet potato goes into the pan, the pot. Yes. Yeah, the pot, yeah. And then he has to add something to it, uh, hold corn, it together. Cornstarch. Cornstarch uh, again. Yeah, yeah. That's used in many of your items. Yes, yes, to make everything st sticky. And it holds it together. Yeah, holds together, yeah. Okay, and then there's a basket that's inserted and down into the vegetable oil. And stiffy. Stiffy, you know, vegetable oil. Then also, we can put the vegetable spring roll on it. Oh, the spring roll. Now, this yeah. is the spring roll that you made. And this is, as you called it, the spring ball that I made. <laughs> yeah, you are laughing at me, aren't you? Oh, no, first <laughs> but this time will everybody cook. Sam, you know. First, first time's okay? Yeah, I did good. Time, yeah. I did good. A new okay. style, though, you yeah. know. A new style? Yeah. What do they call it? The thing. unacceptable new style? Or is that a good style? <laughs> just an, yes, just so an American you know. putting his hands in where he shouldn't. <laughs> This is really an art, quite seriously, though, that you have to really have a love for it and have an understanding of how it works. Yeah. Is it take like three minutes to uh, burn it with it, Tando, you know, very fast. You are really a culinary artist, we could call you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, my uh, Spang Lo is disintegrating. It's falling apart, isn't it? Yeah. But that's all right. I'll I'll still eat it. I, you know, I do those kinds of things for my audience. You see, the burnet is coming out. Uh. Look at that. And that's all made of sweet potato. Yep. I notice that your vegetable oil is very clear. It requires that you change it frequently, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's very important, you know. You... There it is. That's the burnet. Now we go to cook the chicken burnet. We put the vegetable and chicken on the top, stuff by it. Okay, well, let's do it. Uh, okay. Well, from the deep fry pit here to the walk again, chicken burnet about ready to come to life. And I'm about to graduate from the uh, head chef, the head Chinese chef academy yeah. here. How to make the Maybe burnet. I now I show you how to I make the chicken. do something later. Okay. First of all, we just put the oil again, you know, every Chinese food, we just put some oil on it and stir fry it. We stir fry the chicken first. Okay. Very lean, no fat on that chicken. Oh, no, no fat. White meat chicken, healthy. White meat. Yeah, we don't use stock meat though. You know? Stir fry. Put some more oil in it. Don't worry, the oil we we, we put it out later. You know, it won't be. You drain the oil out at the yeah. end, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. On it. Usually we cook with uh, garlic and ginger and oyster sauce, soy sauce, and salt. Now, I notice that you don't have a book with you to tell you what to do. Yeah, that's my You have it all up in your head. Yeah. Then put the vegetable on it. We have sky onions, like carrot, celery, fat ma mushroom, everything. Now, is this a very old Chinese dish? Yes, yeah. Maybe thousands of years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. This real, real Chinese food. Lot more gu gai pan. That's chicken burnet. <laughs> <laughs> now, in order for me to graduate from your academy here, I have to, uh, I have to be able to do something. And uh, what would, what would my final examination be? What you want to learn it? I, I think I do. I think I want to graduate pay me, here. Pay tonight. me, pay me, pay me. Okay. <laughs> now. Uh, is there a way to stir this now? Yeah, we put the one. garlic. You saw me put the garlic and ginger on it, and then pull together. Oh, look okay. at that. Some oyster sauce, soy sauce, touch sugar, touch salt. Just enough. Yeah. Corn cornstarch and chicken ball. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Fire. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and this is the chicken burnet. Yeah, chicken burnet. Well, this no doubt is my favorite part. And uh, joining us is Bob Tang's wife, Joanne. Good to see you. I'm glad that our audience has a chance to meet you as well. And, and again, this is really my favorite part. It was hot back there in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, real hot, you Yeah, know. really, that's tough work. Yeah. But it turns out some magnificent food, which we're about to try. I noticed here in your dining room, you have some beautiful, authentic Chinese artifacts. Yeah. I saw the abacus yeah. on the wall and some other mm -hmm. things. Yeah. What do you have? What are those called? Uh, piano. Chinese uh, piano. piano and, um, Affinity. Many uh, paintings. Yes, Some many very paintings. Very beautiful yeah. Chinese paintings. We can, uh, I can tell you later on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, here's uh, here's the food, and we cooked it. Yeah. You yeah. did the shum. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I I'm, uh, of course, I only eat with chopsticks. And would it be polite for you? Uh, you know how to use chopstick, though. Well, of course. No. Uh, I'm a graduate of the Bob Tang <laughs> Academy of Cantonese Cuisine now. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Joanne told me as we were practicing this before, she says, you know, if you can't touch these together, you're not going to pick up anything. <laughs> but I'm doing all right. Huh? Yeah, yes, all right. Very good. If you can put it in your thing. mouth, though. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Let's see if I can get it in my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes good. Huh? Oh, yeah. But you, you do the mm. wrong way, you use the chopstick. I the do it in way? this way. <laughs> it's more <laughs> easy, though. <laughs> but that wouldn't be authentic, would it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, let me let me go over here. The shrimp now. you cook it, you know. You yes, know. indeed. The shrimp is still yeah. on fire. I know. Oh yeah, still jumping. And uh, what do we have here? 
That's a slow pili with uh, oh, crab meat yes. sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try That's your that. ball, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this, wow. Chopsticks, <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is what I made, this is my spinglo. This is not exactly uh, what I would call uh, beautiful. Now see the difference? This is the one Bob made. <laughs> but I'll bet you they taste the same, huh? Yes, taste the same. You, know, you wouldn't serve this to anybody no. else. <laughs> I insisted on the one that I made. And this is, uh, this is an appetizer. Correct? Yes. Well, so uh, basically, there's a very special technique for doing this. Yeah, just it's like more that. easy. Yeah, it's, it's more easier easy, that way. Yeah. We just take a bite. <laughs> Tastes good, though, eh? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and not oily. Not oily. Not at yeah. all. That's the most important. Mm, you know, most very important. important. Yeah. You want Here's it? our pineapple fried rice. Yes. Oh, and. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Joanne's getting ready to laugh at me because she, you she knows I won't be able to do that. How, how about like that? Um. <laughs> mm, open wide. Tastes good though, huh? Mm. Over here, I, I really didn't get much of a taste of that before because yeah. I was using chopped Slow peely with mm. a crab meat sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. Try it, you know? You eat the uh, slow pea a lot, uh, you know, but not Am I missing meat. some? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the mm -hmm. Look at that. I haven't, I haven't exactly. You still can talk, and you have too much food in your mouth. Too much. <laughs> this, uh, of course, we we saw the ingredients back in the kitchen. Let me try this. It tastes much better than slow pea. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> what have I missed? Nothing missing. <laughs> That's something. What have I missed? <laughs> I had a little bit of this with my chopsticks before, but I'll have a little bit of this. And you know what? I was just thinking. This tastes wonderful. And <clears throat> where else can you have it in a bowl made of sweet potato where you can eat the bowl? Oh, yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's good though, huh? It Crispy, does. yeah. It's excellent. And of course, there are desserts here at your restaurant as well. Oh yeah. And we're gonna take a look at those. Yeah, okay. And uh, certainly last but not least, the lychee food yes. dessert. Yeah. And it certainly is my responsibility to give it a try. Let's taste though. Mmm. Excellent. In fact, I'm going to try another one. <laughs> that one's excellent, but who knows about this one? Mm-hmm. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much for having us here at Sun Inn 2. Bob Tang. Thank you. Wife Joanne Tang, thank you so much. Thank you, It was Adam. excellent. I know our audience has enjoyed it. We thank you, and we thank you for joining us on this oh, edition sure. of Snapshot. <laughs> Until next time, I'm your host, Alan Wolf, reminding you, keep your focus right here on Snapshot. We'll see you then. I'm going to get back to this. <laughs>